looking star for a win. And we are set to go. Great night for hockey, and we are officially underway. San Diego's looking to break out of their own end. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. The Broad Street Bullies move the puck in the defensive zone. Long lead pass into the open ice. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The game is still scoreless. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And it's turned aside by Hoshik. The Rangers have it against the wall. Denies him again! Scores! And look who's right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. Kitchener's home fans are back right on their feet again. Man, they just sat down. Now get back up. Everybody here, sit back down, and maybe they can do it again. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Sends the pass over. San Diego's on the attack. Lumps the puck into the offensive zone corner. Nice pass. Here's a shot. Scores! San Diego back up, back up with the lamp. The momentum in the game changes fast. You get one, now you know you've got a leg up. You want to get another if you can. They get them quickly, and now they've really put them back on their heels. San Diego's won it. And he takes the pass. And the puck leaves the zone. San Diego's looking to break out. Moves around along the half wall. Quick feed down low. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Moves with the puck at the corner. Here's a short pass to Bates. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Takes possession. Get a little physical there with that collision. Kitchener's got it behind the net. The Broad Street Bullies get a hold of the puck along the boards. Right up the gut, here they go. Moves it to the offensive zone. And the puck skips away after that move. He looks a little banged up here, James, but he's still trying to gut out this ship. San Diego's got a hold of the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. San Diego's got the puck in the defensive end. The Broad Street Bullies move it ahead. And he regains control of the puck. Denied by Lindblom. He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're going to have to check in on him in a second. Here in the back half of this period, and it's a 2 nothing hockey game. San Diego's got it in the offensive zone. Love save made by Lindblom. David's taking it from his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Kennedy. Slides the puck to David. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Tehran. Denied! Oh, fantastic stop there! Does it again with the stop! San Diego's moving it along the wing. The Broad Street Bullies gain control of the puck against the wall. And here's a cross-corner dump-in. Trong's lugging the puck. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. And that pass doesn't go. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. Late goings of this period. 2-0 is where we sit. The Broad Street Bullies win it in the defensive zone. San Diego's gained possession along the boards. David. 
Ryan's got the puck in his own zone. Across the line, down the left wall. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. On a key and misses! Digging into the offensive zone, he's looking for that one-timer no matter where the puck is. This is what he hammers in the top target. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. And they come away with possession here on their own end. And there's the horn as they escape the fire. Talk about an emergency exit built in right there as the period ends. We'll be back with period number two in moments. Stay with us. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray Ferraro is down at ice level, and he gives us his own assessment of the opening 20 minutes. Razor, San Diego's got to find another gear or two or three here. They've been behind almost all night. They haven't had the puck very much. As a result, they're behind on the board as well. Maintains possession. Grabbed by Truong. Hangs onto the puck. Bates takes it along the wing. And that's broken up. There's a solid collision. The Rangers play it along the boards. And that slides right out to center ice. Kitchener's got it in their own zone. Centering feed, and that's deflected off someone in front. Handles that one. Takes control of the puck. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Can't make it work. And now he angles it across to Tarong. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Pass broken up. And he stopped that one. I like watching this play here. The defender's trying to shove him off balance, but he's got determination and strength to protect the puck until he can get into a spot to get it on the net and force the goalie into making the save. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Even though he's not very happy here, James, I don't really know what his defense is. That's a penalty to me. Here's a first look at the power play. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Kennedy's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. He was lumped in there. Takes it to the front. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. And he comes up with it. That's a big time hit along the wall. It is James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Kennedy's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue.
The Broad Street Bullies win the faceoff. And that's blocked away. Bates doesn't look like he's going to get to the end of this shift. I mean, he's struggling, just trying to get up through this shift and get back to the bench. The Broad Street Bullies fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through the fingers. Scores! What a great effort on the goal! What unbelievable focus, really, James, is battling to keep balance, battling to keep control of the puck, and still having the presence of mind to make the shot to beat the goalie. Uh, good luck pushing him over. It's like trying to shove over a cement mixer. Great balance, too powerful, and at the end of the day, he gets into position to score the goal, too. Kitchener's offense just simply dominant tonight. Too much for their opponents. There is no way to slow them down in this night. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, Kitchener's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Plays the puck up ahead. With possession along the wall. Cuts to the face. He scores! Oh, with the goaltending on the other side, you're never dead. They're now down by two. San Diego's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope. A chance. Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to David. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Takes a shot. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Slides the puck over. Denies him in close. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power plays first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Keeps hold of the puck. The Broad Street Bullies will play it in their own end. Slides the cross ice pass. Great feed from the left side. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Kitchener's got a hold of it along the wall. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Grabbed along the board by Kennedy. Takes the puck at the point. Delayed penalty. Goaltenders at the bench. They got the extra. The call. The stick gets caught up in the player's feet and off he's going for tripping. is of the essence for this five-on-three power play. This five-on-three is not very long, James, so the face-off is critical. Take advantage of the time you have by winning the draw. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And that's off target as it hits the body. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Knocked away. Handles the puck. Tried to get Juke Q with it and loses possession. I know what he's trying to do, get into space to shoot it, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. Scores! There's his first in the new colors! Always good to get on the board, to show that you're able to help your new team. You want to show them that you're ready to play. He's on the board. He'll feel better now. The power play was patient. They worked around until they found the best shot. But if they don't have that traffic in front of the net, it's not going to matter. The puck goes through the traffic, past the goalie, and they've got a power play goal. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. That's an out front. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Kitchener has got the puck against the half wall. Manages to hang on. And that's offside stopping the play.
Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Davis won the draw inside the neutral zone and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he takes the dish. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Big save right at the end. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Most teams are going to start in this 1-3-1 set. The key, though, is you've got to move once you get possession of the puck. If you move, the penalty killers have to follow. Take advantage of that extra player. San Diego's got it in their own zone. Big pass speed. Looking to break out here on the power play. Whiffs on that. Connect on the play. Receives the pass. And we'll get a face off after the offside call. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Davids won it. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the pass. San Diego's got the puck. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. And it's this is I'm not sure what the blueprint was there, James, but that wasn't it. They don't even get a shot. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Kitchener's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. And the puck departs the zone. San Diego's looking to break out. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Kitchener's crossed the line and on the attack. And that's stopped by Hoshik. San Diego's got a hold of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puts it on you, and it's a two-goal game. Just keep chipping away at the thing. It's such a big hill to climb. But now they're down only by two. That pass comes just right on the tee, and he hammers it. A one-timer just blows by the goalie. San Diego's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Kitchener's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Handles the pass. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Gets it over to David. Along the half wall with the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Another crash! No surprise here, James. He's been doing this since about 7 o'clock tonight, time after time. Hashik's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Hashik's post-to-post -post zone ability means he can read those cross-crease chances, stay with the play, and come up with the stop. David's won the draw here in the offensive zone. San Diego's got the puck along the wall. Takes it at center. 
And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And now he tries to get it across to David. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Broad Street Bullies have it now. Pokes the puck away. Kitchener's got control of it now from their own end. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. And there's the save. Positioning's perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Pass across to David. Here's the pass down low. Gets in front of it. And here at center, that's intercepted. Can't make the connection on the pass. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And there we go. Icing is the call. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Kitchener has won the faceoff. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. The Rangers have it in the offensive zone. And that's blocked from someone in front. Kitchener's got the puck along the boards. Nice D. San Diego's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the rush. Shot! And that one's turned aside. Not able to connect. Excellent stick work on the play. Slick feed. Tries to make a move and the puck hops away. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. David stick handling in his own zone. He got all of that hit. Kitchener is trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. This play all starts with puck possession and strength. Not letting the defenders get to the puck and then creating the chance that forces the goalie into the save. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. One save! Quick reflexes! Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. San Diego's got it along the wall. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. That pass doesn't go. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. I'm sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. Fails to find the open man. Kitchener's got a hold of the puck now. The Rangers will play it to the neutral zone. Put special teams special tonight. They were really good. I mean, you, you hope one of your two special teams can have a dominant night. The power play was awesome. Got the zone quickly, created chances, and they were able to score. It was a really good night for that unit.
What a great night for hockey, along with Ray Ferraro and Carlin Bade. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to tonight's broadcast from EA Sports. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The undisciplined have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Looks to make a play over to Dan. Shot! Shuts him down. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. And we'll reset things after that icing. Takes possession off the draw. Puck picked up in the open ice. To his teammate! Through pass ahead. Plays the body into that play. And he makes the save on that play. But he came out and challenged a good save. The Rangers will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Turn that chance aside. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Denies him on the play. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for in that? It's the thesaurus. Oh, you got it. Trucking it? Yeah, I know you were ready to fire that up. That is a big hit. And I knew you were digging for that one. Schwenigen's got the puck now. And that pass doesn't go. There's the whistle icing the call. Dan's a physical player, and he knows he can be effective when he throws solid body checks, guys. That's his truculent zone ability, and you've got to be aware when he's on the ice. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Sends it across. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it over to David. And that's broken up. Up along the wing. And he takes the feed. Great poke check on the reach. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Well, they'll get their first power play in a game that is scoreless. Take advantage if you can. See if you can get on the board or at least get your team a leg up. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. I hated that, James. As soon as you make this play, you know your next stop is into the penalty box. special teams unit and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get them on the board here guys play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone here's a feed in front and he denies that great opportunity there tries to feed it over to David the feed. David's going to play it against the half wall. Gets it out of his own end. Kitchener's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Takes the feed. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Kitchener's gained possession along the boards. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. 
And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. Well past the midway mark of this period. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Pushes it across to Zemet. Quick pass to Kennedy. Here's a chance to set up now. Picked up along the boards by Kennedy. Can't make it work. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Dan's moving the puck through his own zone. Pass broken up. Here he scores! excitement that he displays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Here in the late goings of the period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Here's a pass in front! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Makes the save with the foot! Koshik's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. David's got that zone ability that could help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. Schwenigen's got it in the defensive zone. Koshik's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a good solid hit on that play. David's struggles are pretty obvious here. I mean, I'm watching him. He's not moving around on the ice very well. He needs to get off. Slides it up front. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Oh, they had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Swedenson's got the puck against the boards. Quick shot. Oh, a clutch save. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got lots more still in store, so don't even think about going anywhere or Ray will find you. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Kitchener's looking to do much the same as they did in that opening period. Now, they'd like to even up the score here, but they played a really solid 20 minutes to begin the game. Takes the puck. Oh, you get in that close, and he's got the puck. Good night. He doesn't miss from there. Schwinnigen's now gone up by a pair in the second. 
So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, of right? Of course it Simple. is. Simple. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Oh, he keeps offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. Slides it across to Dan. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. The undisciplined have gained possession off the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends a pass over. Puts it on net. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal lead's the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to say it. Guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play. Take some chances. Get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Now over to Dan. Schwedigen's got the puck along the wall. Samet's got it in the defensive end. Schwedigen's got it against the boards. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Here comes the call. Well, oh, that's a tough one to hide. He swept out his feet, and he's going to get called for tripping here. Schwedigen's sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Takes control of the puck. Sends the pass over. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the oh, play. Boy. David's visibly uncomfortable out on the ice. He's trying to get through this shift here and get himself some treatment at the bench. Here's a rip! A score! Right with the minute finish! And they make it quick! Schwedigen's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. David's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Dan. Scoops up the puck here. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. From the back of the cage with the puck. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Can't make the connection on the pass. Oh, what a chance here. Can they make it happen on this two on one? Looks to pass it to Kennedy. The Rangers cross the line and gain the zone. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Past the midway mark in this period. Schwedigen's got a three-goal lead. The Rangers win possession here in the open ice. Picks up the puck in his own end. Schwedigen scores! There's the hurry go! Oh, man, what a charge. You're at home, the building's revved up. You throw three on the board, you're the man tonight. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Grabs it in his own end. Drives it to the crease. Decides to think about it. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Can't find his man. Takes the feed up ahead. Kitchener has got a hold of it along the wall. He's got a step. Centering feed. He scores! What a play! Kitchener is back to center right. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another, try and get yourself within shouting distance. 
sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Good stand-up hit. Sends it in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. And they keep the pressure on. Hoshik's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of a puck. Here in the later stages of this period, Kitchener's got to try to find a way to get some offense going. Still trailing by three goals. Swenigen's got possession here in their own end. Moves the puck. Swenigen's got it along the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Slides it on over to Sparky. Couldn't complete the play. Kitchener's got the puck. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Kennedy's on the attack in the offensive zone. Schwedigen's got the puck in the defensive end. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. Davids won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. The Rangers played along the boards. They got a pair on a two-on-one. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Off his stick. Oh, tremendous stuff with the play. It's a little bit of hope in this save. You hope you're in the right position. You hope you get enough of it because you didn't see it. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Schwenigan's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Kitchener's got it in their own zone. The undisciplined have taken possession in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Kitchener's got it from behind the net. Looks to get the puck over to Kennedy. Passes it to Dan. And that pass doesn't go. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Dan. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Broken up at center. Quick feed to Kennedy. The undisciplined have the puck in the defensive zone. Nice pass. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Kitchener's got the puck in their own end. Here's a chance at 2-0. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Here they come on the attack. David's got it along the wing. Schwedigen's got the puck along the boards. Gates to the crease. Feeds the puck over to David. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Turn that one aside. 
Hashik's had nights where he's bailed the team out while they're doing it for You're him. Right. He's really struggled in goal today. Kitchener's got the puck along the wall. And he takes the pass. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Schwedigen's got a 5-2 lead. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Dan's got it in the offensive zone. He tries to tuck it in. He scores! Deuce's love for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a run. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be, and he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking, Hattie, me. Schwedigen's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Here's a short pass to David. The undisciplined have taken possession along the wall. Can't get it to go. Takes it and looks ahead. David's got the puck. And makes the routine save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Slides the puck over. They've got numbers here. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. And that's just out of reach. Boom! Man, sometimes you just can't get out of the way, but for him... It's been all night. He's been on the receiving end of these types of hits. Moves it quickly over to David. Beats the puck over. And he makes the save. Hoshik's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Rocks him on the play. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. The undisciplined have gained control of the puck along the wall. Fires it on net. That's blocked by Lindblom. Samet's taking it from his own end. And that's broken up. And now he moves it quickly to Dan. Here we go, on man rush. And now he moves it to Dan. Handles the puck. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves it on over to David. And he takes the dish. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Can't connect on the pass. And that's broken up. Back at the point, they set it up. Receives the pass. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Oh, wow, that had some hot sauce on that collision. Did it answer, James? I mean, you could see he was raring to get a hit in to try and change a little bit of the momentum, and the shoulder went into the player. That's a solid, clean hit. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. There wasn't much doubt about this one, James. Once they got out in front, they comfortably carried this home. You know, they have a tendency to sometimes take the foot off the gas. Not tonight.